All right, now that you know a little bit about freelancing, we're going to talk about how to go about finding clients so that you can start making money right away. And so in this next uh, slide here, I'm going to go over several different websites that you can start using to find clients and so you can start finding freelance clients. And in the next video following that, I'm going to take you through step by step how you can go about uh, actually using these various freelance websites and you can actually start getting bids on projects in literally minutes from the time you take action so in literally like an hour from now a couple hours from now you could have your profile set up and already could be bidding on projects that you can potentially win and start making some money as a freelancer so these are some of the easiest fastest ways to go out there because these are large websites that are already set up so um, freelance websites are huge because they are they're huge websites they've already are set up with the clients and you know there's there's active people posting jobs posting projects there's business owners posting projects actively and so there's other freelancers bidding so they're very active websites great place to go to, to start finding freelance work one website that you can go to is www.getafreelancer.com Another great one that you can use is www.guru.com. Another fabulous site is www.elance.com. www.rentacoder.com. Uh, freelanceportfolios.com that's kind of a, a site geared more towards writing freelancers but it enables you to upload your own little portfolio kind of like a MySpace portfolio or you know something of that nature but you kind of upload your your freelance projects your portfolio and uh, website owners will go in there and determine if they want to bid on your project uh, ifreelance.com is another one great resource to use it does charge a very small monthly fee of about four bucks a month for the basic package nine dollars a month for the other one but you get really high quality jobs so you do have to pay a little bit to market yourself there but that is not the end of the world so that's a great you know not a bad fee to get yourself some exposure and get your business some potential new clients projectforhire.com it's just another site you can go set up an account and you can start bidding on jobs and then another fabulous one is odesk.com and all these websites enable you to create an account some of them might charge you a very small fee um, one thing also to keep in mind when you're bidding on these projects is that you know when you're winning these jobs they will they will take some of these sites especially the ones that allow you to set up free accounts they will either limit you with the free account so it's you know so you can't bid on as many projects or the other restriction is they will take a percentage of of what you make so if you uh, let's say you do a writing project for a hundred dollars and their fee is five percent then you would actually only make ninety five dollars and you'd pay them the five percent and in most cases that's well worth it it's you know it is worth it to pay that fee because without using these websites you wouldn't have found that project anyhow and some sites will even um, make you pay a small monthly fee um, you know like ifreelance.com makes you you know it makes you pay a small monthly fee but they don't take any money um, you know off each of your projects so you can kind of figure you know if you're only paying five you know four or five to even if it's nine dollars a month and you do two hundred dollars worth of work at five percent commission you know you've already paid for the membership so you know so it kind of you know you kind of weigh and measure that but if you're getting started off you don't have any money at all to invest you could sign up with the sites that let you sign up for free um, but just make sure you understand that there there are fees involved because that's how these websites earn their money because without you know they make their money by taking a percentage of the profits they're helping connect buyers and sellers you know buyers of the services and you're a seller of the service being a freelancer and so it's very important that you keep that in mind um, but these sites are fabulous because they already are established they already have have literally thousands of buyers especially some of these sites have thousands upon thousands of projects that you can just log in and start bidding on so in the next video I'm gonna show you a couple of these freelance websites and actually get in there and show you how to how to set up these accounts and how to work these accounts and then after that video we're gonna go into a couple more strategies for actually finding new clients that you can start making money with as a freelancer